Jefferson College liaison for the elder community with the JC Department of Diversity, Equity, and Belonging, Liz Story. Liz, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, great to have you here. And we're uh, here today because you are serving as uh, the moderator, the host for a new uh, caregiver support group that's happening at the Y. Yes. Yes, so uh, we will be um, starting this month. So it will be a monthly initiative to bring caregiver support to the community. We will meet uh, the second Monday of every month at 5.30 at the YMCA. And I'm really excited to be able to offer this to the community. And I understand you uh, know all about caregiving yes. because you did it for many years. Yes. I was uh, the caregiver to both my father and his wife, my stepmom. My dad had Alzheimer's disease and my stepmom had dementia. And so that spanned about eight years of my life. Um, so I know firsthand what it feels like to be a caregiver and it is a labor of love, but it's also uh, very taxing um, emotionally, physically, financially, um, and if you don't have a network of support, uh, it, it can consume you. So it's just really important to reach out and know where you can get that support and sense of community and understanding from other people who are going through it alongside you. It's amazing. Uh, caregivers, they are uh, probably the uh, most unheralded, but uh, most stressed uh, workers in healthcare. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, like I said, it's just when I was going through it, you know, there were uh, probably caregiver support groups out there, but I didn't really know where to look. And um, so this is just so important to, to bring to the community. And, uh, and I'm very happy that you're letting me promote it here. I'm glad you're having this. And I know there are caregivers watching, and I know some of them are saying, oh, I can't leave. I am a 24-7 caregiver. I, love, I would love to be part of a support group, but I can't get out. That's a, that's a common problem, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. Yeah. And so I can also do Zoom support as well so which i have done so if anyone is interested in um and that as uh another option i'm happy uh, to also have that as an option as a remote option i think we used to have more uh things i think uh remember joey's junction uh, i think we had um like a respite we had respite where people could go and get a break yeah um or people could we don't have that much of, I don't think there's that much in the way of that service anymore in Jackson. I, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I haven't heard that. Well, so. as a caregiver, I mean, you can't call, there's nobody you can call and say, hey, can you come right. s sit in for me for a couple hours? Right. Yeah. And, and you don't even like know, uh, you get so engulfed in, you know, caring for your loved ones that you um, often don't prioritize yourself in that. You don't even realize that you, you need to turn that care back around on yourself too. And, and by allowing yourself to have a break. Well, before the show, we were talking a little bit about some of the um, stresses. Uh, you can't work, mm -hmm. so you, and, and you don't get paid for being a caregiver. Right. So you could go broke and you, right. and you shut off from everything. Yes, it's yeah. isolating and it's uh, financially depleting and you don't, often hear about all of those aspects uh, because you know um, what the focus mainly is is you know on on the loved one who needs um, care which is wonderful but also there's the caregiver needs support mm -hmm. and care as well and they're really they're, they're they're actually keeping the person alive yes yeah yes yes are we seeing, uh, as our population ages and with, you know, we're living longer, are, are there more caregivers in society? Oh yes, yeah. um, just for 
Alzheimer's specifically, the numbers keep climbing. So um, yes, there's more caregivers um, and it is, you know, more cost effective the longer you can keep a loved one at home, mm -hmm. but it's also very depleting in other ways. So it's, you know, a double edged sword. This new um, position at Jackson College, uh, they've created uh, liaisons to different, uh, different groups within the yes. community, uh, elder community. And yes. I, when I first heard about it, I thought, well, we've got, you know, more people that are going back to um, college, but it's, it's more than just that. Yes, it is more than that. Although I am uh, happy to say that if you are 65 or older, we do offer free tuition. So I'm really excited about that because another uh, mission of mine is I, I want to empower aging um, by offering some strategies to age to thrive. Um, and I, I want to bring different resources and different programs and partnerships into the community and just be, be a service to the older adult community and their loved ones. For this new uh, caregiver support group, um, when's the first one? So that's the 14th um, at 5.30 at the YMCA. To show up? Just, yeah, just show up. Any, anyone who's caregiving, it's not specific to Alzheimer's. Anyone who's caregiving a loved one is more than welcome to come and I really encourage you to come and check us out because it is, such a, a great resource in the community. And it's a, there's a huge need, there's a gap in recognizing how important the caregivers are and, and in supporting the caregivers because you can't pour from an empty cup. Did you think you were the only one when you were caring for your um, mom? And not necessarily, but your dad, I mean- I'm sorry, your dad and his yeah. wife. Um, no, I didn't think that I was the only one, but it certainly felt like it a, a lot of the time just because it was very isolating and I didn't have a lot of support besides outside of my immediate family. And I didn't even know where to look for, for support mm -hmm. and I wasn't prior, prioritizing myself at all. Um, so like I said, it wasn't necessarily that there wasn't any support available, but I just really didn't know where to even go and look for uh, such a, a group or a resource for myself. Well, with the pandemic be, uh, making us all more proficient with Zoom, that's probably helped uh, yes. make uh, the connection for, for people Yes. to get yeah. help. Yes, yeah. and I have offered um, some remote, like, as I said before, I'm more than happy to, to bring that back um, as a resource for um, anyone who is unable to leave their loved one um, and, and get that break. Uh, we can do Zoom. Mm -hmm. Just let me know. Well, your, um, your dad and his wife, were they still living at home while you were the caregiver? So my dad ended up having to be in a facility because he had multiple needs that I could not by myself meet. Um, my stepmom was living at home for uh, a long time and main, trying to maintain her independence. Um, but at the end, she did have to go in and, and with my dad, which was the very last resort. But, you know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes there's so much care that is needed that is beyond uh, a scope of just a loved one, you know. Um, so, yeah, and in almost every situation, it gets worse. Yes, it never gets better. Yes. Yeah, especially with um, brain disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. So those that can't make it, they can't. They just can't leave. Um, the support via Zoom. Would they be able to attend this caregiver support group? like remotely or is the Zoom help that would be a separate thing? I could, um, I, I could set it up to where um, we could go on Zoom at the same time as, as we are um, 
meeting in person, that's an option. Or if they need, um, if that time doesn't work, then we can uh, work together to establish another remote session. And you're going to keep doing this every month. Yes, absolutely. This is I'm. This is one of my passions. So, this is going to be a, a fixed thing in the community. Good. It's huge need. I'm glad you're doing it. Thanks for sharing thank all the information with us today. Yes. Thank you for having me. You bet. Good luck. Uh, I bet you'll have a, a good turnout. I really hope so. And we're just going to keep keep going. So. Anyone who's a caregiver, please, please, please consider coming and checking us out. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Uh, Liz Dory is the uh, Jackson College liaison for the elder community and the facilitator for this uh, new group. Stay tuned. Up next, a preview of the Irish Festival. We've got an Irish lass, Colleen Monaghan, with uh, details of this big event coming up. <laughs>